Hey guys, it's Yolanda Monique and I'm here to share with you why do I always do that introduction? It's not like you don't know who I am. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title, this is going to be a drugstore beauty supply store haul. This is all the products that I have accumulated this week. Um, I, there were so many things that I saw that I wanted to try and I had that $50 worth of Walgreens bucks. So I hit that up and then I ended up hitting Walmart and then the beauty supply store. And just so I can get into this, I'm going to go ahead and talk to you guys. One thing that I've already opened is my um, brush. Um, I broke my, my other brush it's gone so I had to buy me a new brush and you know it's purple so it was inspirational and I really great for my hair so since I started off with hair products let me just flip through here for the other hair products I needed some clips so I purchased these two from the beauty supply store I they're two different styles I wanted to see which one would work better with my hair because the little clips that I'm having they're they're really sharp tips and they're like Whoo, when they get in your hair they're like <sighs> So I thought, okay, I'll try these, and they have, um, this one is metal, but they have rounded tips, and then this one is plastic, but they have a little more sharper tips, so hopefully it won't be gouging into my hair. And uh, I think that's all the hair products, yeah. So the next thing is nails. One of the products that I'm using now, um, I actually purchased this week, is the Kiss French Nail Tip Wrap. I have really thin nails and so I thought this would be a really great idea to put on top of my natural nail because when I go to beauty salon and they do my nails they file them and again I have thin nails and so they're so weak and when the the artificial nails come off they're weaker than normal and so I was like I gotta find something that I can put on top that I can remove without hurting my nails these when I was reading it it lays on top and it's really the concept is really cool. So my first impression of this, I know this is a haul video and you, first impressions aren't, aren't part of it, but mm, no. So the other nail products that I purchased um, was this Kiss Nail Salon and this one has 40 tips. And as you can see, there are French and the natural tips. So I will let you know when I do this, how this one comes out. And to remove the nail tips, I purchased some pure acetone. And so I got a small bottle of this. For the nails, I also purchased a nail file, which I used to kind of shape these. And you have to be careful with that the, the first kiss when I showed you because lifting is a major issue. But I really like the nail file. It was only $1.25. And then for my nails when I'm not using the kits, I needed a top coat as well as a base coat. So I have the Hard as Nail Crystal Clear Top Coat. And then that was from Sally Hansen. And then the other one is LA Colors Base Coat Top Coat. I'm running out of my base coat and I thought this would be a really nice, um, I can dual purpose base coat or top coat. And then to fix my nail, I went and got the Kiss Silk Wraps because I was wondering, I saw on YouTube someone used the silk wraps to actually extend their nails to make it look like um, tips. So this was three dollars I thought I can try that with the rest of the kit um, next is us I'm just gonna grab stuff I had some cotton swaps or, or rounds one for the nails and two to apply all of my um, cleansers and things that are on my face I purchased these nail not nail this eyelash I am trying, really, really trying hard to get into wearing lashes, and I'll, I'll wear them once a week, and it's so funny, no one notices when I wear the lashes. I've worn them to work, I've worn them to church, I've had them around my friends and my family. No one seemed to have noticed that I had lashes on, and I'm like, okay, either I'm not picking dramatic enough lashes, or I don't know what. But these are silk lashes, and they're, they're La Flair. And they look natural. I mean, I don't want something that, that looks so freaking fake. It's like, okay, what did a caterpillar, pill, caterpillar crawl up on your eyes? But this one is interesting. It's 100% silk lashes. I want to try the mink lashes. And I do have a pair of mink lashes. I just haven't used them yet. And then for 
lashes, I have, I thought I had three. Yeah, I have three mascaras. The first one is Alme Get Up and Grow. This was on sale at my Walgreens. They're getting rid of this style, I guess um, Alme is. So this was $3. I love this mascara, Emily Noel. Um, and I will link her page below so you guys can check out her channel. She mentions um, this Get Up and Grow as one of her favorites because it adds length. And I got the waterproof because it helps keep your curl. And so all of the ones that I purchased are waterproof. The next one is the Illegal Link Illegal Links by Maybelline. Again, waterproof. This is the false fibers because I want to have those long lash look. And I think that this will help me get that. And then the last one is my favorite. I always come back to this no matter what mascara I purchase. And this is L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. Again, waterproof so that I can keep the curl in my lashes. Love, love, love this. Yes, I'm not going to use these all at the same time. They were um, on sale. So I'm like, if it's on sale, take advantage of it and get it. And let's see. I purchased this from Walmart. They're just generic makeup remover wipes. Just so I can wipe off my makeup. No big deal. And I actually use it more when I'm doing videos and I'm like swatching so you guys can see. I grab those. I love the Real Techniques Beauty Blender. I had to go grab another one. I wanted to grab the dual one, but um, the dual one, basically, there's two beauty blenders in one. It looked like someone had opened it, and I was not about to purchase that one, so I ended up getting the single. But I really love the, the Beauty Blender for there. Um, I For skincare, I purchased Pond's Black Spot Correction Cream. And it's because the dark circles underneath my eyes, as well as my hyperpigmentation on my skin, I thought that this would be great moisturizer if it can also help reduce the appearance of my hyperpigmentation. Hey, all good. For uh, Jordana, I have the brow and eyeliner. The lady at Walgreens talked me into getting this. She was like, if you buy this, I can get you another coupon. The coupon and this were the same price. You can always use another brow pencil. So um, this is in, what shade is this? Dark brown. Because she was trying to convince me to get black. I'm like, nobody's brows are all black. So no, not getting that. But I do, I will use this eventually. If not, I'll give it to my mom. And then for foundations, I have two from Maybelline. Well, actually three. I have two that are the matte velvets. And I have the 95 Coconut and the 92 Caramel. I first purchased the Coconut, which is the darker right here. And then I was like, okay, this is a little too dark. I love how it makes you matte. So I went back to a different Walgreens and I found this one, which is the Caramel. Caramel, however you want to pronounce it. And it's so funny. I have to basically shop Walgreens to find the shades that are me. So you can see the darker one is the coconut and the lighter one is the caramel. That's them. So mix is a perfect match on my skin tone. But I have tried the coconut one. Like I said, that's what prompted me to go get look for a lighter shade based off their website. And it does give you a semi-matte appearance. It's like a natural matte. I really like that. So I'm looking forward to trying the caramel one out to see how it looks on my skin. And then the next foundation that I purchased, again, it's on the darker side because the one closest, the Walgreens closest to me did not have a shade that was exact match. It is the Fit Me Matte and Poreless. This is normal to oily and the shade that I have is coconut. And I thought if I mix it with the current one that I have, from the Better Skin, which is way, way too light. I thought maybe I can at least take the Better Skin with the Fit Me and get it to um, fit me. The next shade up or down that's on my skin range is Honey, it's Honey something. And it's way too light. It's like they just skipped a range. It's like, here's Coconut, here's Honey. I'm like, I'm in between. Can we get one in between? So I'm having to be mixologist and mix, but I wanted to try it. I told a friend I would give my opinion on it. So that's what I'm doing. And then I purchased a highlighter, Rose Glow from Revlon. This is what it looks like. It has It's trying to be like those shimmer bricks. You see the different shades. 
and that's a swatch of it and that's it right there and I just chose rose glow because I don't have any peachy highlights I mean I have the one from wet n wild but it's more like a silver champagne with with yeah silver it's more silver and so I thought this would help broaden my collection and then the next things that I purchased I kind of went Revlon crazy and I went and got four of their HD matte lip colors here they are all four of them and you can do one by one swatches the first one is devotion devotion was the one that I was going to get see that right there I know I suck at swatches sorry guys the one that I was aiming for and the one that I was like, okay, I've been searching different Walgreens trying to get a hold of this and I can't seem to find it. And that was Addiction. I finally found it. And then it's so funny is it's not my favorite. On the display, it looks amazing. Then I put it on my skin and I'm like, okay. I mean, it looks nice, but it's, it didn't give the effect that I thought. They don't completely dry on your, your lips. They're still tacky and they, they do stain your lips, but it's not like, I thought it would be like stain, matte, don't transfer, but they do transfer if you put on your lips. The next one that I have is Obsession and this is what it looks like. It is like a bright cherry pink. That's it right there. And then the last one, which I didn't think I'd like, but being a neutral girl, I should have known better, um, is Seduction. And this is it right here. Oh, my God. Guys, I love this one. I mean, I'm, I'm like, the one that I, I went to get was not the one that I am obsessed with. Let me see if I can show you this. Look at that. So that's all of them. That's just gorgeous. And then last is from LA Pro. I went to go grab some more concealers. I grabbed the wrong one, so I had to go back and get another one because the beauty supply stores do not do exchanges if you purchase the wrong thing. You're just SOL. I was trying to get Fawn, which is what I have right here. I accidentally grabbed Toast. And this is the second time I've done that where I've grabbed Toast and I meant to grab Fawn. Um, Toast is, is exactly my skin tone and sometimes I'll use it to amp up the concentration of a foundation that I have. If it's it's way too sheer, I need to build it up to at least a medium concentration. I will take some of my, my concealer, which is in Toast, and put it in there. And so I'll just continue to do that. Um, but I really love them for highlighting underneath my eye, especially for on. And they last a long time. That's it, guys. That is everything that I purchased in my drugstore haul. Let me know what you think. If you've used any of these products, I'd love to hear your opinion. Um, there are a few more drugstore products that I want to purchase, but I haven't gotten around to it. And then I will definitely give you a review over some of them because I already know what I feel, how I feel, what I think about some of them because... I'm like, they should have started over on some. And some I'm like, yes, yes, this is it. But thank you again for watching my video. I cannot wait to see you guys on the next one. I hope that you enjoyed it. Always know that you're blessed and love. And I will check you guys out on the next one. Bye.